Hello everyone and welcome to iOS 12.1.1, the battery test. So as always, I'll run Geekbench's battery test on first iOS 12.1 and then again on 12.1.1. But before uh, running the test, I'll just show you that all the display settings are where they are normally. And also that the auto brightness setting has been set to off so that the environment that they're in will not affect uh, the brightness of the screen. So while I do that, let me just uh, let you guys know that I actually bought a real microphone to do these videos. So uh, hopefully uh, you will notice a difference in the voice audio for this video. I've also ordered a uh, stand, a pop filter and a shock mount. So uh, if you hear something strange, that's probably due to me not having those items yet. But hopefully I found the right setting so it uh, works without uh, too shabby sound but anyway as you can see the auto brightness has been set to off so the aim of this test is not really to compare the devices against each other but more or less uh, iOS 12.1 on the 5s and then again later on 12.1.1 on the 5s again and again of course for the 6 6s 7 and 8 and then at the end I show you some scores uh, of iOS 12.1 and compare it to 12.1.1 one and then also show you the battery health of each of the devices it's almost now ready to go so we'll just uh, go into the battery test here and then just run battery test on all the devices and then at the same time disconnect power so that the test will get on the way So we're now fully ready, so let's cut power in 3, 2, 1, go. So this test usually runs for 4 hours till all devices are out of battery, but uh, I have sped it up to take approximately 4 minutes.
So devices are now powered back on after they were all out of battery. Now they are recharged and let's go into the Geekbench battery app and see the score. And here we have the first results from iOS 12.1. I have listed the runtime of each device, the battery score from Geekbench 4, and also the battery health of the devices. So uh, let's run the test again, so we have something to compare this against. So again, to verify for you that the brightness setting of the devices are the same as they were on 12.1, I'll go into the brightness settings and let you see for yourself. And also after that, I'll go in to verify that auto brightness is still set to off. And then we'll get the test on the way. And as you can see here, the auto brightness setting is off on all of the devices. So uh, let's just close this out again and uh, launch Geekbench and get ready to uh, run it on iOS 12.1.1. And now all that's left to do is to uh, press run Geekbench on all devices and then disconnect power. So let's cut the power in 3, 2, 1, go! So this section of the video is uh, 3 hours long, so instead of us watching that I've sped it up to around 4 minutes.
So now we have power back on the devices, so let's just launch Geekbench and see what scores we have. So let's just look at those scores for a few seconds before we compare them to iOS 12.1 in the chart that you saw previously. So these are the results from Geekbench 4 on iOS 12.1 and 12.1.1. .1. As you can see, the 5S has a shorter battery life as well as the iPhone 7, but all other devices has a little bit longer battery life. But as the difference between uh, the two iOS versions are so small, I would call this test a tie, and I would say that the battery life of iOS 12.1.1 is just as good as it is on iOS 12.1, or just as bad, you might say. So thank you for watching this video and if you're not subscribed to the channel already please do so. I've done a few tests and it seems like people who subscribe to the channel also have faster iPhones and longer battery life than everybody else. That is of course a silly joke but I do appreciate every subscriber that I get.